You gotta go under the bush. Oh. Hey, Bon, you made it through, huh? You found your own way? I can go my own way. There's just rocks randomly sticking out here. Were they put here for a reason? That's the question that our civilization has to answer, right? The great question. Was this rock and these other rocks put here for a reason? Look, a rock on top of a rock. How do they do that? Do you want to walk at all? You want, you want to switch or? Okay. So now we have the power of love, right? Everyone has it. You used to need KYC. Actually, in BitMEX, you didn't need KYC and then they had to pay the government $100 million or whatever, 10 million, 20 million. Yeah, I'll, I'll just carry her. I'll switch. Hi. Okay. Let's go. Go visit Liberty. Liberty Lou. All right, so anyone has the power. No KYC, you log into Bybit, log into OKX. See Binance, you need KYC now. Uh, you notice that the places you need KYC are kind of the most regulated. Gate, I think Gate you actually need KYC to use futures, and derivative products. A little rock there next to Bona. I want to go on this side. My shoulders? Okay. Need uh. help? Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh. All right, continue. So we have this power. We log in the buy of it. Okay, X. Uh, I'm not sure about gate. Unless you're KYC. Uh. You can't care what's it, whatever. It uh, obviously, there's higher chance of reporting to the tax authorities. Uh, SEC, FBI, CIA, whatever. But you take the risk. So, oh. Oh, I'm winded. Are you winded at all? Always. Oh, Always. Okay, so what what is leverage? You open a position, 10x. Um, 10x, what the hell does 10x mean? Uh, 5x, I think default is 5x now, so 5x. Okay, so maybe you, you have $1,000 in this account. You're on 5x leverage. That gives you the power of $5,000. Holy crap, I just borrowed 400,000, sorry, $4,000? I just borrowed it out of the blue. Yes, that's exactly what happened. You borrowed this money. Uh, and now you're super powerful, right? Because you can borrow anytime you want. Any time of day, any time of night. 24 hour, 365, 366 on a leap year. You can borrow money. So what happens when you're a borrower? Well, you become a debtor, right? And you incur a risk what oh just up there this is the top oh look at the hawk yeah. 
So the risk is not being, a, even a, being able to pay your, your lender or debtor, I mean creditor. So what happens when you can't repay? Well, they just take your money. Well, that's okay. This is a thousand dollars, but they'll take the thousand dollars, but they gave me $4,000. Did they? Exactly. What was the risk? Well, you enter the position also, and since you're on 5X, if the price drops 20%, so say, uh, what coin is around a dollar? Uh, Kava. Say Kava dropped to 80 cents. Boom, you're out. Your thousand dollars is gone. Like, well, that sucks. So what's the, the counter strategy to leverage her margin? Well, it's buying spot. Well, what's the downside to buying spot? You don't have the power. You don't have power. You're just an ordinary person, okay? But the advantage of being an ordinary person, less responsibility. So you can buy this token when we're going through this echo and just hold it. Hold for uh, your, uh, your 2X, 3X, whatever. Okay, let me let me just look up there first. Make sure there's a path once we get up on these rocks. Yes, it looks like we're at the top. We can get through this way. Yeah. This is the top. We're good. You just gotta get up that rock. Oh, sorry, I'm winded. So, what's great about spot is you can go in and not worry about the 20% drop. Like I said, the correction is coming, so we could drop 20%. Uh, some alts did drop 20% that went up high. Let me help you. Uh, go off for a second. I'm out with mom and the baby. I chose to go on these rocks versus. Yeah. There we go. I got a boat. I got a little baby. There she is. Huh. So we're technically at the top of this mid, mid ridge or whatever you call it, mid hump, mid mound. But there's a higher point up there. I have been up there, through there, but not today. There's a vlog, I think it was the March or April of 2021, two minute Twitter vlog where I was up there. I'll, I'll link it eventually. Okay. So now we go down, or we go across and then we go down. Okay, Shira gotta go across and then down. So a spot. You're in, no fairs liquidation. You got your thousand bucks in there. La da 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 da, but no power. You're just ordinary. La da da da, you're down 200. Well, that sucks. Guess what? If you were leveraged and Kava went to 80 cents, you'd be out of the game. Okay? So that's the power of not choosing to take the power. So you have the choice to use the power for good or evil. So what's evil? Obviously, getting liquidated, losing all your money would be evil. Uh, telling other people to use leverage to go on there and trade and get liquidated, not being safe. Um, what else would be evil? Uh, making too much money and you brag to other people. It's all the money I made, ha 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 ha. I'm so rich now. Look at me, I'm the greatest leverage trader. Versus, oh no, no. Yeah, I forgot about Bonnie. I had to push her up. Just hold this for a second while I help her up. Oh, my bondozer. I don't know if there's a way not around the rock around. Okay, watch your eyes. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. So, 
You don't want to use it for evil, okay? Getting liquidated is evil. Telling other people to use leverage and getting liquidated is evil. So I can use it for good. Modest positions. Say you have $1,000. What you can do is put $200 or uh, $1,000 into a few positions, five positions versus uh, 5,000 to one. So some coins might go up a lot, some coins might go down. But you might make only a few hundred dollars doing that that way versus catching the big pump or correction dump and getting liquidated. So that's a good way to do it. But also you can get liquidated if all your alts, because they tend to move together, they're highly correlated, go down. So another way to use leverage is, I'm just gonna put $200 um, I'm just going to put $100 into five coins. So that's only two and a half X. That's a safe way. If you get a 20, the odds of a, uh, what's half of 2010. Is that right? Uh, I think that's right. Am I, am I doing something wrong? 10% dump. No, no. 20, you've got to double it. 40%. The odds of a 40% correction are lower, okay? But, you wanna see, shim where's Shimmer and Shine? Oh, Shimmer and Shine, the glass. So yeah, lower leverage, safer way to doing it. 5X, 5X is on the fence. 5X is the maximum leverage I'd say to use, unless you're gonna scal scalp in with stop losses. With stop losses, you're gonna do uh, 10X. Say, I'm putting $10,000 in the position if price drops on cover from $1.90, I'm out. But I'm gonna have a stop loss at 98 cents. So what happens when the price drops to 98 cents, hits my stop? I lose um, 2% times 10X leverage, 20%, which is $200. So that's not that bad. But say Kava runs to $1.10, what happens? Well, so I'm 10X leveraged. I double my money. I'm now up to $2,000. So that's the power of leverage. Okay. And the other disadvantage, I, I want to talk about another disadvantage. So we have echo bubbles. We have coins like Gala went from uh, 15 cents to 56 cents. So uh, almost 4X, 3.5X, whatever, somewhere around there. So you're leveraged with uh, your $1,000. You're leveraged 5X. You got $5,000 in it a leverage position so the coin pumps to tick city tick central station this is tick city the capital of tick central station meet all your tick friends and family have a drink with them sometimes it's good to relax get away from crypto trading whatever so i visit ticks hey bon Okay, so like I said with Gala, so you had a five thousand dollar position. Boom, you went up to uh, Gala bumped, pumped. Uh, sorry, twenty percent. You're taking that a thousand bucks out. You said, "Wow, I just doubled my money." Or Gala goes up ten percent, and your five X leverage. You take the five hundred dollars left. Boom, I just made another five hundred dollars. Now I'm up to fifteen hundred dollars. I'm rolling. I just made $500 in a week. I was making 50 bucks, 100 bucks, like 200 bucks, driving all week for Uber, DoorDash. So, what's the, the contrary position to that? So, it's a spot position. So say you put $1,000 in Gala, and you held, you said, I'm gonna hold a couple days, not even gonna look, it's up to like, uh, went up 10%. I'm up to 1100, whatever. I don't care. At 20%, 1200, 1400. I'm like, whoa, this is just going to keep going up. I'm going to keep my money in. And then you come back after two days, you're at $3,000. So you make double or triple, quadruple, whatever, what you would have made if you were on leverage because the leverage carries a mental risk of losing all your money. But spot, you're not going to lose all your money unless it's over a year 
and you held Gala down 97.5%, right? From $1,000 to $25. But <clears throat> we're just talking about short term while the market is bullish. So that's why spot's a huge advantage. I'll give you another example over the weekend, all these pumps. So notice like Friday, Friday, the, the weekend pumps into the weekend, uh, the connection. It seemed like the weekend was bullish for alts in 2021 and some parts of 2022, but this tends, this tends to continue. Why? Because institutions can't buy Bitcoin. Well, they can. Sometimes we did have weekend Bitcoin pumps after market. I think actually this pump was right after the market closed at 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so it was interesting. So that creates a gap between the people that trade uh, macro Bitcoin markets on, uh, I forgot the exchange, the Chicago CBOE. We're going down right here, down and then back around. We gotta go yeah, yeah, we're going. Or CMC. What? No, not coin market. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I'll give you an example. Hook went from 175 to 235 or 240. So let me just do the mental math. Gymnastics, that's about 35% pump. But <clears throat> we just gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah. We're going. So if you had $1,000, then you would have made $350, right? Or if you had $10,000, you would have made, that's if you held to the top, you probably would have made more like $200. If you got $10,000, you would have made like 1500 to 3500 dollars If you had a hundred thousand dollars, and now we're talking, right? Hundred thousand spot. Because it gets scary when you do a hundred thousand dollars leverage unless you're used to it. Uh this way, Mar. Gotta get back to the road. It was fast for a short amount of time. That's a secret. That's an illusion. If it's fast for a half second, it makes it look really fast. So, that's... Wait, which library? At Platt? The normal one? Okay, a little library. So, $100,000, you would have made 15000 35000 Versus a leverage position where say you would have closed at, you have a $100,000 balance. You're like, holy crap, I just made 5,000. Let me get out of there. So that's the advantage. You can hold for a set amount of time and not worry about it. And also with leverage, there's a green number and a red number. So you don't want to see the red number. Usually when you get into the position, you'll see a little red number. That's your fees. It should be a couple bucks, sometimes less than a dollar. I know I'm position size. And then the green position, hopefully when you get in, it starts going up, that's how much you're making. But it turns red when you start losing, when the position goes below the price you entered. The, the mark price, I think. Or the mark price is the mark, the index price is the index across exchanges, I think, something like that. So anyway, so seeing that red number go up, down, red, green, red, green for a few hours, the market might chop for a few hours versus just having ten thousand or a thousand dollars or hundred thousand dollars in it you don't see your position unless you click on assets or cryptocurrencies whatever deposit you see your your wallet balance there then you see it but you might be in other positions too so you don't see that exact position you do if you look down at the, the token in the wallet but it's one of the advantage the psychological disadvantage of seeing red green red green for a few hours before a move actually happens you're like oh i was just up a thousand dollars oh no i'm down fifteen hundred dollars what the hell is going on and then you come back in two days or actually a day in hook's case friday morning saturday morning and you're up freaking fifteen thousand twenty thousand dollars fifteen hundred or it's kind of boring if you have a thousand bucks for most people but for some people it's really good to be up a couple hundred but anyway that's the power of using leverage, 
and the disadvantage, the responsibility of using leverage is being responsible in your positions, not to get liquidated and not to close because you're down a little bit or your profit gets cut in half and the price keeps going. So it's, it's kind of like spot has disadvantages too. You still lose money like that, especially if you make a lot, if you're holding a while and then it price corrects, you could give back all your gains, but it's, it's really advantageous for not staring at the position all the time. You're still gonna click on your wallet. You're still gonna go down in the coin, see how much you're holding, see how much you're up, but it's gonna be less obvious and hopefully le less nerving. But if you're neurotic and anxious anyway, it's still gonna be, give you anxiety. So great power comes great responsibility. Still gotta be real responsible. So if I know a lot of people who are closing their, their Aptos positions around $8 and see it pump 60%, or 70%, actually went 80%, I was just guessing, from eight to about 14.30, holy crap. So they, they closed at a loss or a small gain. They made like $1,500 out of a 100,000 leverage position, but they don't even have 100,000. So if they had like $25,000 and they wrote it, they would make $15,000 or so, or actually 25 times eight would be $20,000. So crazy twenty thousand dollars versus making fifteen hundred dollars right your stop loss hit because you set stops usually with high leverage set stops or you get liquidated in this volatile market so that's the benefit of being in an echo bubble you can just buy a spot and ride it or you can use leverage safely use leverage wisely safely if you just want to get in tight stop boom that's it hopefully it doesn't drop two percent like I, i've been watching this coin some of these coins when they get momentum they don't even drop two percent they might drop half a percent one percent one and a half percent but they barely go down when the momentum's carrying them so you can be a momentum trader scalper on leverage whatever anyway but the thing about being a scalper is you're jealous of the people who just held who just held spot like all these people early january they sold three weeks later two and a half weeks later they would have doubled their money <clears throat> if you were in aptos at one guy said he was in aptos at uh six dollars so he would have Two and a half is money. All right, so that's the leverage lesson. Maybe we'll do a part four.